Ben Alieva has been Azerbaijan's first lady for 15 years. One year ago, she was appointed by her husband, President Ilham Aliyev, to the newly created position of first vice president. Mehriban Alieva was born Mehriban Pashaeva in Baku in 1964. Her grandfather, Mir Jalal Pashaev, was a writer, and her father, Arif Pashaev, is a physicist. As a child, Alieva played the lead role in the film The Speaking Letter. In 1983, when Mehrban Alieva was 19, she married Ilham Aliyev. In 1988, she graduated from the Sechenov First Moscow State Medical Institute. In 2003, Ilham Aliyev became president, and in 2004, Mehrban Alieva founded the Haydar Aliyev Foundation. The Haydar Aliyev Foundation, a charity or a corruption scheme? How transparent are the activities of the Haydar Aliyev Foundation, which was established as a charity? The Haydar Aliyev Foundation's sources of funding are confidential. When journalists asked about the foundation's finances in 2009, they were told, the Haydar Aliyev Foundation's sources of funding are confidential. Ilgar Mamadov, chairman of the opposition Real movement, has been a political prisoner for five years. Regarding the foundation's finances, he has said, quote, Historically, these kinds of foundations have existed in countries with dictatorial regimes, and their purpose is to make repressive regimes seem humane. Such foundations never disclose the source of their finances. Former Health Minister Ali Insanov, who has been imprisoned for 13 years, said at one of his trials that several schools had been built in Azerbaijan with his money, but the work is said to have been done by the Haydar Aliyev Foundation. Although the list of the Foundation's objectives is long, the priorities are to help resolve social problems of local significance and help people in need of special care. Azerbaijan'da da hiç kime inanmıyorum bir tane. Bir tane Heydar Elif Fondu denem, o da Mehriban. Onu da kabuğuna girebilmiyorum ben. Mehriban Hanım söz vermişti ama ki eylemedi. Mehriban Hanım bir gün kasıbladı kayıpları, hayal şeyleri. Ölke dövlətlilerden ibaret değil ki. Under the direction of Mehrban Aliyeva, the Haydar Aliyev Foundation has implemented dozens of projects around the world. This includes everything from the restoration and renovation of churches and historical monuments to organizing concerts and art exhibitions. Even Russia's first monument to the Orthodox saint, Prince Vladimir, was erected in Astrakhan in 2013 with the financial support of the foundation. As a result, in 2017, Patriarch Kirill of Moscow awarded Mehrban Aliyeva the second degree order of Princess Olga. The Aliyev children, Arzu, Leila and Haydar, have also been implicated in corruption in international media. Haydar Aliyev owns tens of millions of dollars worth of properties on the Palm Islands in Dubai, while Arzu and Leila Aliyeva own gold mines and huge telecommunications companies in Azerbaijan and expensive properties in London. In 2010, WikiLeaks released a diplomatic cable by Donald Liu, a US embassy official in Azerbaijan, which said, quote, as a whole, the Pashayev family, which generally speaks Russian better than Azeri, is considered the single most powerful family in Azerbaijan. The cable also said that the Pashayev family is associated with powerful business groups beyond Azerbaijan's energy sector. They are known to operate in the rapidly expanding construction and real estate market and are heavily invested in the financial and telecommunications sectors. The Pashayevs don't seem to be concerned with keeping their businesses secret. Pasha Holding, of which Mehrban Alieva is the unofficial head, controls a large business network that spans from Azerbaijan to Georgia, Turkey and Russia. On its official website, Pasha Holding proudly lists the many properties it owns in Azerbaijan. The most profitable business that Alieva owns is Pasha Bank, which operates in Turkey, Georgia, Russia and Azerbaijan. Pasha Bank continues to grow and become richer against a backdrop of currency devaluations and bank closings in Azerbaijan. On February 21, 2017, Ilham Aliyev appointed Mehriban Aliyeva to the new position of first vice president. Issa Gambar, opposition politician and the director of the Center for National Strategic Studies, said it was a disgrace that the head of state had created an artificial post and appointed his wife to it. Turkish Fox TV criticized Mehriban Aliyeva's appointment to the post, and its broadcasts were immediately shut down in Azerbaijan. A Turkish radio show which mocked the appointment was punished by Turkish authorities. Ya çok komik. Adam çık dedi ki Cumhurbaşkanı yardımcısı karım dedi ya. 
Da, gəl təsəvvür eləyək ki, siz hansısa şirkətin prezidentisiniz, direktorısınız. Mavin olaraq siz həmin postda öz həyat yoldaşınızı seçərdiniz mi? Yox. Niyə yox? Blogger Mahmoud Hüseynov was arrested in March 2017 after conducting a joke survey regarding the vice presidential appointment. In April, Canal 13 was shut down and its director, Aziz Urajov, was jailed. In May, courts blocked access to the websites of Maidan TV, Radio Liberty, Azadlik newspaper and Turan TV, which had published corruption investigations about Mrs. Alieva and her family. Then, journalist Afghan Mukhtarli was abducted in Georgia, brought to Azerbaijan and put behind bars on false charges. Amid major pressure exerted on free media in the country, Mehrban Alieva unofficially finances and directs major media outlets such as Trend News Agency, ARB, Lida, ATV, and popular Facebook and YouTube channels. According to many international organizations and a large segment of the public, the state of human rights, democracy, and freedom of expression in Azerbaijan has deteriorated since Mehrban Alieva was appointed first vice president.